Welcome, Falcon fans, to another edition of BG Falcon Hockey Weekly. Ryan Vallon here with head coach Chris Bergeron. And, uh, coach, it was a good weekend for you, and actually week as well, defeating Western Michigan, completing the sweep, and then going out to Ohio State with a thrashing there, 8-2, to two, and then coming home in front of a sold-out crowd. So, uh, overall, thoughts on the week slash weekend? I, I mean, I think it was a, it was a very good week. Um, Obviously, f finishing off Saturday night would have made it great, uh, but I, I thought we, we gave ourselves, you know, three opportunities to win. We, I, I really liked the way we played on Tuesday. I, I knew Western Michigan was going to be probably a little bit, little bit drained, both, both physically and emotionally, coming off that big, that big series with Michigan where they split. Um, and, and I thought we did a nice job of jumping on them physically and skating and, and, and pushing the pace. And we were able to kind of uh, take that game over as it went on and um, use that momentum as we uh, went to Columbus on Friday. And I mean, uh, you know, we, we pucks just started going in the net and they just kept going in the net. And it's one of those nice uh, nights that was uh, nice from a coaching standpoint. You're not uh, you're not biting your fingernails the whole time. And, and Saturday, I, I didn't think we started great. And that's as much of a. It, it's it's 100% uh, uh, because of Ohio State. They, they they pushed really hard and they came after us. And um, but once we got through the first period, only down a goal, I thought our guys continued to to, to play better and, and 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 get to our game a little bit more and, and start to put the pressure on them. And you know we found a way to not only get a tie but take the lead there in the third period and um, weren't able to hold it. But overall, uh, I thought it was a pretty good effort on Saturday. So you look at those three efforts and and you say very good. Yeah, so, and there were a couple, there were a few players, three actually, who uh, were named uh, weekly accolades for the WCHA, Max Johnson, uh, WCHA Ford of the Week, and also of the Month, Alec Rahauser, Defensive Player <coughs> of the Week and the Month, and of course, Ryan Bednard, Goaltender of the Week and the Month as well. So, you, you know, we, we've talked about these players in these types of situations, and yet they still rise to the occasion and get the job done. Yeah, I, you know, starting goal and... Ryan came in with a purpose this year, and he, he he was fit, and he was ready to go, and kind of picking up where he left off last year. Uh, and right now, he seems on top of his game, and getting recognized for it. And, and Rahauser, we all know, we've talked lots about him, and coming off an All-American season last year, a first-team All-League player, and somebody that we rely on quite a bit, and, and has, has had a good month. And then Max Johnson, there was a lot of talk of that sophomore group, and how are they going to respond to the... Uh, a pretty good freshman year, and Max is, has come out of the gate really strong. And that doesn't talk about Bayless or Lucas Craig's or, uh, you know, Chris Polkamp has had a good month. You know, those kind of things. Um, it's by committee, our group, but I'm glad certain individuals are getting recognized because they deserve it. With the weekend that your team had, the uh, team moves up to number nine in the USCHO polls. And I know that you talk about it's based on opinion, yet it's still really good to be in the top ten as well, especially for recruiting purposes. Yeah, no, I, I agree. I mean, it's... It, it, it's opinion, and, and I say it as such, but I still think it, it matters. I mean, the, the fact that we're being talked about in the same breath as some of those other programs um, is where we want to be as a program. And um, the perception of, where, of our program in, in, in 2009, 2010, 2008 was a whole lot different than 2018. And uh, we want the perception to be where it is today, that we are a top whatever program and um uh, like i say although it is, it is opinion it is it is something that uh, I, i'm proud of and i'm happy for our guys and our fans they're the guys that have worked to, to, to create this the, the, this conversation and i know our fans like talking about it so i'm happy for uh, for them for sure weekend upcoming northern michigan this is the rematch of the wcha semifinals from last year and uh Northern, kind of looking at their schedule, they kind of struggled a little bit. They've had some tough non-conference games, but they're going to be coming in here to open up the WCHA slate. 100%. Uh, four first-team all-league preseason guys that, that they deserve those accolades for sure. I think so, three or four, something like that. Their top group with with uh, with, with Rockwood and Loggins are as, as good as anybody. Bolio on the back end, and, and they've got a goaltender that obviously is pretty darn good. So... Um, the depth of their group is one that um, I know gave us trouble last year outside of those top people, uh, and, and they're good again this year. I mean, looking at them on tape, there's a whole bunch of guys that can really play. And um, We didn't get a chance to play them here in our, in our rink last year, so we're going to look forward to that. But I think it's a great way to start off the WCHA schedule. We've got a, 
a 28 game uh, slate that we, that we look at here and it's an opportunity to win a regular season championship and that starts on Friday night against uh, one of the favorites going into the season so it's a good spot for us to to see where we are uh, within our league. Well, it's gonna it's gonna be an exciting start, <coughs> excuse me, to the WCHA. And um, thank you very much, Coach, for sitting down thank with me this week. Me. And uh, of course, you can catch Friday night's game, <coughs> excuse me, at the Slater Family Ice Arena, 7:37 p.m. puck drop. I'll have you covered at 7:07 p.m. with the pregame show. We'll talk to you next week after this.